All right, what's up? Welcome to PurposePusher.com. My name is Iyana Maat, and I am the owner of this blog. Um, you might be catching me on YouTube, I don't know, but if you are, why don't you check me out over on my website, PurposePusher.com. Um, today, y'all, I'm going to answer a question. I've had some questions come in, and I hadn't had a chance to get around to answering some of them because I have like a million things going on. Um, but I'm going to start uh, going through them one by one. And the question that came in essentially is from a young lady who's been married for, I believe she said um, five years or so. Um, she doesn't have any children and she wants to start a business. Um, and so she's very excited about it. She says she's always been this kind of person. She always knew that one day she wanted to work for herself and she has a decent amount of savings, um, to do so. I don't know what decent means, but that's how she described it. But her problem is this. She says that her husband ain't feeling it. He is not trying to have it. He says that, you know, there's too much risk involved, um, he, he just doesn't want her to do it. Um, and she says that when she's talked to him about what the right circumstances would be for her to take that, that leap, um, he basically doesn't give her any kind of clear answer. He just really talks on and on about why it's not something that's a safe or smart thing to do. So she wants to know, what does she do? What does she do? She is married, right? And when we're married, when we're in a committed relationship, um, you can't just do you. You have to always consider the other person. So I want to give you a, give you a couple of tips. Um, and the first of those is this. Number one, you have to remember, like I said, that um, your spouse comes to your relationship with his own particular background, his own particular experiences that help to inform him about what is reasonable and what is not reasonable. And so instead of trying to get him on your side, pause for a minute and try to understand where he is coming from. Really try to get out of your own space where you're advocating for yourself and that's a hard thing to do, particularly when you're passionate about something. Um, and really try hard to get into his space and, and ask yourself, are you looking at the full picture? Are there some things that you might not be considering that he is reflecting to you that you need to consider? Because there is a lot that goes into starting a business, uh, particularly when I believe, as you have said, you want to stop working and do this thing full time, you know, off the cuff. You know, you're not going to ease your way into it as most people do no judgment there but you got to make sure you come and correct so you want to look at what he's saying um number two compromise is the order of the day so both of you all have to come to the table being willing to give up something and being willing um, to give the other person something and so if you reflect to him that you are willing to not have it all your way he might be better able to let you uh, have some of what you're asking for. Um, and so, you know, it's really about how you go about it. It's about how you bring this thing to him, whether you're trying to hit him over the head with it or you're really trying to seek out what his needs are in this. Um, there are people who really, really, really value security and stability. I think all of us do, right? Um, but there are some folks who thrive on it to a great, great, great degree. And so any threat to that, oh my goodness, you are rocking somebody's world. And it doesn't have as much to do with you as it does with what you are threatening um, on the inside of him that, wait a minute, I'm not going to be sure. And certainly starting a business is one of those things where you can never be 100% sure about all of the different avenues that you're going to take and, and the outcomes. You just can't be. Um, but there are things that you can do, like have a business plan. There are things you can do, like get a mentor. Um, there are things you can do, like demonstrate that you have done the studying you need to do to make yourself well aware and informed about the endeavor that you're getting ready to undertake and, and do those things for him. All right, now I focused on him and what you need to be doing to help him understand how important this is to you. Um, number three is this. I believe that everybody has a purpose. I don't know if you feel this business is going to help you facilitate that purpose or not, but I believe everybody has a responsibility to be about the business of doing it. And so 
his not being willing to compromise, I don't know if that's where he is or not, but if that's the space that he's in, that's not going to fly. Him saying, uh, you know, you know, you just shouldn't do it. No, you know, you should just stay in the nine to five and we should just, you know, keep our secure, stable situations. Many people live their lives that way. Many people adore that way, but many people such as yourself, um, do not live their lives that way and don't want to. And so you certainly have a right to, um, live your truth as you see it, to express your destiny and to be the best that God has called you to be. So never get confused that as you are negotiating this thing in your marriage, as you are walking it through and talking it out, never should you put it down. You have to keep it at the table. You have to remind yourself that there is compromise that has to happen on how you do it, maybe, but not necessarily doing it. That, I feel, is not an option. You are called to do what you're called to do. So do it and be smart about how you go about it. And in the meantime, stop playing and start pushing.